You know what a corporation is? What? You, you're a condom? I don't. I don't get it. Okay. You understand? You're right. Okay. All right. We're going to go. Oh, we, I was just giving you the, in, the, the in English, right? What did I say so far? System of body politics. All right. I'll be with you in one second, okay? Under, and it says under a special denomination, so that's, you know, under a certain or particular religion. Wow, I didn't even know. Regard, so, regarding in law as having a personality and existence distinct from that of its several members means that the collection of people and the corporation itself are two different things. The collection of people don't make up the organization. Don't make, don't make up the corporation. The collection of people use the corporation to represent. Example. Um, uh, an example is um, the United States of America. Opposed to New York State. New Jersey State. The Pennsylvania State. New York State is a part of the United States of America, but the United States of America and New York State are two different things. You understand? Now the reason I use the American country as an analogy is because we're learning about the application of American law. And in consideration with American politics and American economics, we should be dealing with American issues. Or I would have used Africa. We're not in Africa. I don't think any of us plan to solve problems there and here simultaneously. But Africa is a continent, not a country or a nation. Yet there are many countries in Africa. There are various nations inhabiting those countries but the nations are not the countries and the countries are not the continent and the people aren't the continent the people are the nation everything is separate but it's all in one place so, the, uh, the cream is not the coffee even though it's coffee and cream that's cool. I can reload. Keep going. I feel like so. A corporation is a representative of people, and it represents people where people um, can't represent themselves. I hate to um, bring the legalities into the spiritual realm because it's kind of difficult and people get stuck and lost. But I think y'all will be all right. I know you. You know what I'm saying? You are right. You are right with your spirituality, the science of breath. You know the difference between the spirit, the body, and the soul? Okay. So, you are not the body nor the soul. You're the spirit. But your soul is yours. Your body is yours, right? Why did you hit my arm? It's possessive. I'm not the arm, but the arm is mine. So I'm, I'm not the United States of America, but I'm part of the United States of America because I'm an American who's a citizen of the United States. So now we see the corporation. Either be in the country or but this is mine. Alright. Um, the other brother, he left this by mistake. I'm gonna I'm gonna give it to him and I'm gonna keep this. Show the suit to the order, show cause while the judge planned it. He said you, you can't get in Supreme Court, right? Not even mistake. You, you did you hear it? Yeah. Show the order to show the yeah. order cause. How the judge granted that. Okay. But he said you can't, right? Well, I mean, you cannot put a circumscription on the law, and the thoughts of the law cannot be circumscribed. Y'all sisters enjoy y'all anything. Right. Anything you want to know about the law, y'all feel free.
Thursday. <laughs> What's up tomorrow? You coming tomorrow? Tomorrow. Huh? Coming tomorrow? Yeah. All right. That's what it is. We gonna have questions tomorrow. Peace of love. No. Peace of pride. Sean D. Peace of love. Peace of love. So now we back to knowing the difference between a corporation and a country. A country is a representative of people, and it's a body politic that's extended around a certain amount of land or territory. Now this body politic exercises its authority or its jurisdiction or its capacity to act over a certain place. A corporation is merely the controller. It's not what's being controlled. So in this case, the land is being controlled by the country. In this case, the corporation is controlled by the people. People who are using the country in order to represent themselves in the country. So we don't use countries to represent ourselves in corporations. We use corporations to represent ourselves in countries. So the state can you chicken? The people of the state of New York is a corporation. The people of the state of New York is being represented by an actual person. But this actual person is a representative of uh, Elias Elliot and Eskovich, attorneys at law. So Elias, Elias and Eskovich, Esquires, are representing the people of the state of New York. How many people know, how many people do you know named Eskovich's in New York? So how is this guy represent, well who? Who pays this guy to represent the people of the state of New York? His nationality doesn't reflect the nationality of the people in the state of New York. That's why his name is mad weird and it's difficult to pronounce. Now this guy is representing the people of the state of New York and is attacking your people all day. Because your people, the corporation that they use to represent themselves is the black corporation. Which is not existing. So they just make a black corporation for you, in your mind. But it's not really a black corporation. Mm. You have black corporations everywhere. You have the NAACP. Total 626. Mm. Oh, you have the Nation of Islam. True, true, true. But that's not a black corporation. That's the Nation of Islam. That's the NAACP. Black is not a corporation or a body politic that can be used to be of a representative capacity of the Asiatic people who aren't Negroes, Blacks, or Colors, but are in fact Moorish Americans. So, Moorish Americans need to be represented as Moorish Americans in a Moorish American venue. And thus a Moorish American venue must be produced in order for Moorish Americans to represent themselves in. That was done in 1928. It was redone many times by many from various people making an attempt to have the Asiatics be represented by other Asiatics calling themselves Moorish Americans. Were they legally Moorish Americans? That goes into the laws of citizenship. And we know the laws of citizenship in this country, as complex as they may be, going from 1790 all the way to 1956. All the way to 2015. You know what I'm saying? So now we look at. So now we look at people or the nation within the country using the corporation to get what they need out of the country. People use the country to get what they need out of the people. And people can't use people to get what they need out of the country. Because you need to interact with the country, and countries interact with countries. Nations interact with nations. Numbers interact with numbers. Numbers also interact with letters, but letters are representative of numbers. So yeah, corporations, yeah, but if he has a corporation, say, Embrace Entertainment. I'm saying it, Embrace Entertainment and Angel and Training, it's a joint partnership. That's a joint partnership between Embrace Entertainment and Angel and Training, but on Lord Merkel. Doing business as Lord Merkel, Angel in Training, which is a member of the Angel Training Corps of North America. And the Angel Training Corps of North America being headed or controlled by the Angel in Training Association. So it's a lot of corporations, interacting with corporations. And all these corporations are going to be used to interact with his corporation. But now, you know, embrace. And Lord Merkel, 
We didn't do none of that. That was the corporations doing that. We're chilling. So if Lord Merkel, Angel and Trainer make 45,000, and Embrace Entertainment make 85,000, Lord Merkel didn't make a dime. Because none of that money I can interact with anyway. Because it's not real. The idea isn't real. But the idea is used just like the dollar is used. But the dollar don't have no gold or silver. Remember, I gave you that parable, that dollar bill. Definitions define things. Things have definite values. This is a dollar bill. Yeah, but you know, the one used to be the metaphysical portion of the third power in the neuron and the electron star when it boomed. So it's two dollars and fifty cents. Well, if I need something that's a dollar twenty-five, then I only need a dollar in short, regardless of how fabulous your explanation was. Now the same person who says, "Yeah, but you know that dollar, you know, it's only really not worth nothing." Da 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 da. Whatever. He's the same one. Like, well, yeah, you know, I give this to you, but it's like sixty dollars. So even though, you know. In order for you to really be able to interact with an idea, you need to accept the idea. You can't interact with nationality unless you accept nationality. And the acceptance of something is to be conscious of something. The acceptance of something is to be aware of something. And it's a concept and consciousness of nationality. You have to be aware of your nationality in order to apply it. You need to be aware of what a country is so that you can use what is in a country to your advantage. You want to know what is in a city. You want to know what is in a state. You want to know what is in a village. We're in the village of Harlem right now. The village of Harlem has a leader. Who's the leader of the village of Harlem? I don't see him in Harlem. I don't know him. I don't know who the borough president is. I don't see him. And if I do see him, he never introduced himself as, Hey, how you doing? I'm the borough president. I never, I'd have remembered that. The representative of the people of the state of New York, he never, he never said, hey, how you doing? You know, I represent you. Hi, hey. Never did that. Because I wasn't aware. I wasn't aware that Gail Brewer lived right across the street from the project. Who is Gail Brewer? I don't even know. I never heard of him until I walked past his building. That means if I wasn't on 125th, on that part portion at that time, I wouldn't even know who Gail Brewer is. Apparently, Gail Brewer represents me. I don't even know if Gail is a man or a woman. <laughs> that, you know, that, that name go either way. I don't know if it's a Mr. Brewer or a Miss Brewer. Might be a sister Brewer, I don't know. Probably not, because it's not like we go out there to vote. And if we did vote, we probably would have voted for ourselves so we don't know nothing about ourselves. I'm mm. lying. And if we did know something about ourselves, there'd be something negative so that we can use against them and say why they shouldn't be voted for or like mm. I remember when John Lou beat Bill Thompson. I didn't know what I was voting for. I thought I was black. I just voted for Bill Thompson because I thought I was black. You know what I mean? Bill Thompson still lost. But being black didn't do nothing for Bill Thompson. And John Lou was comptroller. And John Lou was a comptroller, exactly. Guess who came to the Moorish Science Temple of America? It wasn't Bill Thompson, it was John Lou. Exactly. What a fizzle, right? Nah, he ain't come with secrecy. Maybe in secret. Maybe, <laughs> maybe the Sunday following, but Stuff I don't know. Up. Don't quote that. That, you know, that was poison. Stop it. You know saying? But you know, aside from that, until we have the proper political representation that is actually produced by us, and that comes from knowledge of what representation looks like, by knowing who we are and how we want to be represented, we can't have any political recourse. And you need economics to get political recourse. So you can forget about economics via politics. And politicians go out there and say, yo, I need money. The prophet was a politician. He go out there and say, yo, I need money. You need that finance. Yeah. Yeah. What's up with that finance? So you must not want to see me if you ain't got that finance. You must not want to see the profit, because y'all don't got no finance for me. Because it takes finance to the nation. The president not going around state to state, state to state, talking to people, both me, and y'all don't got no money for him. The president, like, well, I would go to uh, Harlem to speak, but the, uh,